Your thoughts and actions are not just moments that are driving by. They are building blocks of your identity and your future. So I want to dive in today how your daily habits and mindset shape the person you are. So the power of thoughts and actions is that thoughts shape your reality. The thoughts you are consistently entertaining often influence your perception of the world and your place inside of it. So more positive and empowering thoughts lead to a more proactive, confident mindset. But people with negative thoughts can often limit their potential. This is like something like hunching over a lot and not, you know, standing straight with your shoulders back. It's something like um, speaking aggressively towards people, even though you don't have anything against them. Outside emotions, things like this, right? These are small actions, something you won't even think about at the end of your day, probably, right? But they do kind of change who you actually are. Actions also define your character, because what you do on a daily basis reflects and reinforces who you are. So your habits, routines, and behaviors gradually build the person you are becoming. And lastly, consistency is key. Consistency in both thought and action is essential, because you need to repeat actions and thoughts so they can actually reinforce each other creating a feedback loop that will create a stronger identity over time so how do we design the person we want to be with thoughts and actions so the way we need to think about this is thoughts lead to actions actions do not often lead to thoughts. But we need to spend more time in the action phase than in the thinking phase, if that makes sense. So we have to think about, okay, I want to start exercising re regularly to start exercising regularly, right? We do. But we need to be think or we need to be exercising, like actually out there exercising for more time then we need to be thinking about exercising or thinking about starting to exercise, right? That makes sense, right? So thoughts come first in preparation, but action comes first in the practical process. So your action needs to be purposeful. It needs to be aligned with your goals and your values. So making deliberate choices that reflect the person you want to become, not just the person you are today. Because today, you might think that you're the person who is struggling with overeating, or is a person struggling with exercising, or whatever, right? But if your thoughts are, okay, no, I'm not a person who struggles with this. I'm a person who doesn't struggle with this. I'm a person who's confident in myself to not be able to, to be able to resist these things. I am able to resist these things. I do not have to eat every cookie I see, you know? If you have that kind of mindset about it, again, it's more positive and it's going to lead to better action because thoughts do very often lead to action. It's just yours to decide if your thoughts lead to positive or negative actions, right? So we need to be thinking more positively than negatively. That wouldn't make sense, right? It seems very simple, but we often fail to do this in life, especially because we always forget. It's something that we know, but it's just kind of not in our conscious or subconscious. It's something we forget that even exists. So to design the person we want to be and be that person, we need to think in the head of that person. Think as if you were that person. Okay, you want to be, let's say you want to be an athlete. What does an athlete do? 
an athlete is healthy. An athlete works hard. He has a good work ethic. An athlete has a great mentality. An athlete doesn't give up. An athlete is consistent. You know, things like this. And you can just open your notes or whatever, right? And just, or a page, if you like writing uh, with a pen. And just write down, jot down all the things, or first off, write who you want to be. Like, what type of person do you want to be? Do you want to be a businessman? Do you want to be an athlete? Do you want to be uh, a great uh, family person? You know, whatever, right? Because you do, you probably have some, like, kind of personality in mind or some kind of, like, person in mind, right? So, write down what that who, who you want to be and write down some points on what that person is like and then think to yourself about yourself now once you've written down those points and think okay so I had all these points of what an athlete is okay what am I doing currently oh that's you know the same as on that list okay oh yeah I am consistent oh yeah I am I am uh, consistent I, I do eat healthy I do have a good mentality, I do not give up, you know, all of that, right? So you're like, okay, but this, oh, I am consistent, or oh, I am eating healthy, but you know, some part of all the points that you listed, you might not be doing. So then that is what you can focus on, because the best way to improve is not to try and f uh, improve at 10 different things at once, because that's very difficult for any person. You cannot be growing a business being uh, more athletic, going to the gym, eating healthy, um, quitting uh, some addiction, starting 10 good habits. You cannot do everything at once because then you're going to be mediocre at all things rather than and a master at none. So what you want to do instead, which is the best way to learn anything and everything, is to do as many things over a long period of time, but only focus on one thing at once. So you would focus on mastering one skill, for example, being consistent in working out. And then once you've been able to do that and you're actually consistent, then you can shift your focus to the next thing, which is okay, eat healthy. And then once you do that consistently, then you can move on to the next one and so on and so forth until you are mas have mastered all of those skills that you need to be become that person and then you are that person as simple as that so remember don't stop when you're tired stop when you're done peace